Hello, this is Agnes of Gan Explain. Today, I would like to talk about the week one homework of News Trading Challenge. Uh, we got questions how to do week one homework, and we also got a lot of questions on you know where is what is a good stock to pick. So I use a stock example today. Uh, not that I recommend you to get in buy or sell Google right now. No, I'm not recommending that. It's just I use an example so it's easier for everybody to follow along. Um, but if you want to say look at like British pounds or, or yen or commodities, you can do the same with the same step by step. Okay. So the first step, of course, you know, you look at the charts that you know the market that you're interested in trading, and for this example, it's Google. So you see there are like major turning dates where the market breaks here and also the market get get um, a bit clustered for this period of um, March 12th to uh, April 3. And you look for, you know, the possible news and that, that actually cause the small rally here. And you also see a gap down here. So that makes this the news around these dates are uh, interesting so because it can be those kind of news that cause this move and usually I look for uh, when I'm doing this kind of analysis I use a daily chart because you look at de de uh, sorry, news on a daily basis we look for news that has been circulated in the market um, and not speculating on news which uh, we which let's say going out like in an hour and we we are speculating whether the market will rally or the market will plunge so it's not that kind of news trading that's the reason why we're looking back uh, on the news that possibly causes big moves and then we look at corresponding news on those dates that may cause those major moves Remember the homework is about finding the, the possible major news that caused those moves. And don't think about too much whether you pick a right news or wrong news in week one. Because you will know uh, by week three possibly that you you pick the right news or not. So now don't don't think too much. Just quick as quickly as possible, go through these steps and do the homework. So the next step is really easy. Um, Thankfully, we have Wall Street Journal. They it's really really um, organized. They have an archive for major news titles on a daily basis. So it looks like this. So you have all these um, new headlines here, and they usually they I think they just allow you to watch one news or, or one or two articles free uh, for a day. So, and I guess most people do not want to pay for the news sitting behind the paywall. And if you want to, you know, go ahead. I, I think, you know, the price is pretty uh, affordable too. But you can also look for news like in Reuters and in other like news outlet, which is free. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And if you see like big gap down or, or any like special things you know happening in the market that you're trading you will you, you would like to look for the news that possibly cost those um, major moves in the market as well so just now Google there is like um, a gap down here so I will look for news around these dates and then the last thing is which is quite interesting that I spot um, it seems to be like you know there is like a support here in the price rally again there seems to be like a support around this area uh, for this particular stock and this is what kid calls the implicit rule of uh, trend in the market where there is like uh, implicit rule for support and resistance as well and we are going to talk about this in week four and what you can do is you can combine the news training techniques that is taught in this workshop with the implicit rule of trends to find some really good uh, spot to enter the market. So we're going to cover that on 
week four and don't miss it. So let's look at um, just now, you know, I, I said, you know, the corresponding corresponding dates where the market turns and look for the corresponding news. So I spot some already. And when I go to this archive, what I do is I just browse to see news that is related to um, Google. So if you are familiar with Google, you know exactly what kind of Google uh, business Google is related. Uh, so it can be so it can be apps, it can be news, um, and uh, technology apparently. And I also look for news which may not be hundred percent Google related, but Google related to tech news, or related to some major finance financial news like easing. So you just browse through the titles like this. You don't need to like pay like great attention or, or spend a lot of time on this. You just grow and see, you know, what are the possible news that um, affect that you think may affect Google. And I just go and scroll and scroll and scroll here. Let's see. I so this one, Trump wants to double spend on AI, quantum, quantum computing. The White House proposed roughly doubling non-defense research and development spending on artificial intelligence and quantum information science, citing fierce global competition while cutting overall funding for R&D. Um, AI and quantum computing is the business that Google is involving in. So you would like to click on this news and look if there is some relevant information. And if you do not want to pay for articles behind this paywall, what you can do is I usually just copy and paste the subtitles or, you know, all the titles. And then you just open a new tab on Google. Just pop it in the search bar and look for an alternative news. So, so sometimes you might find it on Newsbreak or New York Times or any news um, outlet. So you can just click onto it and read the articles. And sometimes I think it's better that if you think this is the news that is related to the stock that you're trading, you look for different um, articles and they have like a different angle of reporting. And what you can do is you just stick the... Um, news there, the, the, the link there, and maybe just put like one or two um, bullet points there to remind you later what this news is about. Because as I said, you don't need to process too much about what the exact news and how does it affect the market because you're not doing fundamental analysis here. You are just picking some potential major news, which we call theme. We'll cover that in week two. That will cause some major moves in the market. So this is the, the, the um, short notes that I put here. And if you find the related news, you can just stick it here. So the purpose is kind of making like a journal um, on a major news title. So imagine if you do it on a daily basis. That's all you do for that day. Um, if you're, you are watching this news, uh, sorry, this stock, and maybe you have like five stocks that you're watching, that's all you do. You, you browse through the list of news and you look for possible news titles, that's it. And then done, just leave it behind. And then when you look at those major turning dates, which we talk about in week two, week three, week four, then you can put everything together. So uh, this is the, the, the where Google has a big gap down. So I look for news that happened before this big gap down to see if there's any possibilities that um, it's either the, the major news event, which we call theme, or the noise in the market that caused the um, gap down here for Google. So I go through, I went through the same process. I went to um, the Daily Archive for Wall Street Journal, and on the 19th, I see a news, SC accelerates AI experimental thanks to cloud, data analysis, machine learning, help company figure out how to nudge browsing customers into buying items. 
So this is very interesting e-commerce related to AI. Um, so definitely it's related to Google because it's, uh, it's between working a, a project between cloud and SC. So I will, I will look for that news and I'll stick news items there and then I'll put some bullet points on um, a short reminder on what this news article is about. So on 19th, on, on the 20th, I don't find anything like potentially interesting, so I skip that day. So 21st, no directly related articles, but I see um, an article, a major article related to tech stock. On that day, all the utility stock rally, but tech, uh, tech stock tanked really badly. Uh, polarized market that, that is talking about here. And it has a lot to do with coronavirus, which as we know, uh, this virus is not going away too soon. So I just put it there and see if this can be possible noise. So just now we spotted um, a sideways market between these two dates. So I look for like possible news that happens there that caused the rally, uh, the little rally after, which is this bit. So I'm looking for news here. So on 15, it was the quantitative easing uh, announced by Fed, Fed. So I put the news there. March 17th, um, a turbulent session following by punishing sell off. So it's related to S&P Dow. So I put it there as well. And on the 18th, I saw something which is more directly related to Google. The gig economy is to the rescue, the flexibility of app services, which is getting popular because helping millions of people in panic or either they are uh, working from home, uh, they need the app services like Zoom, or they, are, they need uh, to do workout at home because of um, stay at home order, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a lot of app services that may be helpful to the people. So I just put it there. And as we all know, like these are the uh, businesses related to Google as well. So between that, I don't find like news that possibly that catch my eyes. And on the 10th, I find a piece of news that uh, may be related to the move which is Apple and Google team up to track the spread of coronavirus using iPhone and Android apps. So definitely, as I said, you know, because uh, this can be a possible uh, noise that causes the major move in the market. So I stick it there. So this is how you do your homework. Don't think too much about whether, oh, I picked the right news or not. There is no answer to that. In week one so just follow the process that I, I I talked you through just now go to the charts that you're trading look for the turning dates and look for the major news corresponding to those turning dates and all you do is go to uh, Wall Street Journal and look for that um, archive news titles on a daily basis just scroll through the, the news and see what news caught your eyes and then just put it on um, a Google Doc just like myself here or you like to write it down you can put it down in a journal whatever you like or a spreadsheet and that's it so if you are part of our news trading challenge uh, which you can watch the first video for free and do the homework just like this by yourself and if you join our news trading challenge which is just a dollar you can send the homework to Kit and we have a finale webinar at the end of the workshop which he will walk you through on the homework and answer questions that you have for the workshop so um i hope you enjoy watching this video and if you're part of the challenge please send us the homework and if not join the challenge now uh, it's really excited thank you for watching bye bye